like, why do I want to kiss her? Big moment. I am coming out officially as... Basically, today's a big day. I am officially coming out as bisexual on my Instagram today. Everyone I know is on my Instagram. So it's a big deal. Like a lot of people are going to find out, including most of my family. So I'm proud of it. I'm just a little nervous to see like reactions and stuff. So basically today I'm gonna be vlogging the photo shoot. My best friend Aaron is here. Please insert yourself in this camera. Me. Don't touch me. Come on. <laughs> Hi guys. He's good. Okay. Wow. Okay, so he's He's gonna be taking the pictures for me in my studio and then our friend Mia who's actually an artistic genius aka a makeup artist she's really good at what she does and she's coming over we're gonna do like a pride rainbow type themed look we're gonna shoot in it and then I'm gonna post it like I literally wasn't nervous up until today and it just like hit me and I'm like oh my god I'm revealing a really big part of myself to the internet no. Anyways, okay, let's do this. Guys, I'm making an exposing video about Mia. She's supposed to be here at 1 and it's 1.03. <sighs> Are you spending the night? No. I'm playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> the queen has arrived. Hi. This is Mia, our artistic genius for the day. This is the finished makeup look. Oh my god, it looks so good. Well, and this is my first time wearing lashes. Kind of odd. Uh, but anyways, I love it. Um, now I'm gonna like straighten my hair and make it like decent and then like put my outfit on. Final look in three, two, one. This is the look. A bathing suit moment. Pearls, of course. Along with our beautiful artistry done by Mia Puente. I don't want to like get emotional, but this is kind of like an emotional moment. Showing people like a part of me. Anyways, I just wanted to do it in like artistic way. I'm so happy. Happy, like I'm finally doing it. Okay. So the shoot has wrapped, um, and now I'm about to start editing. Oh my god, I'm scared. Bye. Bye. Oh, I don't hug people, so that's really <laughs> awkward. Ah! Okay, guys, please stop. <laughs> Aaron is here for emotional support. I have the post ready. I'm like kind of scared. Caption. Oh, it says. So <laughs> Wait, no, this okay, is me. Okay, that says so we're starting to be like, guys, okay, I'm gonna read you the caption. Oh, so you don't want to seem rude on camera? Yes. So you oh, bitch. You don't want to show your true colors <laughs> no, on camera? I meant because I <laughs> The caption says, so this is me officially coming out as bisexual. Love is love, regardless of gender. So glad I can finally embrace this part of myself. So glad I can finally embrace this part of myself and show it to you guys. I'm about to post it. Stop bunny rabbiting. <laughs> okay, here we go. Big moment. I'm gonna to post it and we're in another room, okay? For dramaticness. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Hi! So basically it's a few days later and first up I want to talk about the response and like the aftermath of the whole thing and then I'm going to answer a few questions. So basically the response was absolutely amazing. I had no idea that many people were going to like support me on it. I like I, my mind is still blown. It's just so amazing to like show the world a part of yourself and get like such a positive response. So if you were one of those people I love you thank you so much I couldn't have imagined a better response I mean just to have like strangers DM me and like talk to me about their experience and stuff like that me coming out helped to them and I have no regrets like at all I'm so glad that I came out I'm gonna answer some questions now though what is bisexual bisexual means that you are attracted to both males and females so yes I am attracted to males and females there's a lot of stigma around being bisexual people you know like to say oh like you can only be one just choose well no like you you can be both like it's it's possible I am proof that it is possible next question when slash how did I know basically I knew or I came to like a I guess a realization when I was in like we'll say ninth grade is when I was like oh 
oh, I like girls too. But eighth grade is when it really started. What happened was I developed a crush on one of my close friends. I, at first it was like, wow, like we're such good friends. We hit it off so well, like we clicked so well. I was like, why do I want to kiss her? Like, this is like not normal. Like why? And I was like, oh. And at first I was like really in denial about it. Just because I had always supported the LGBT community from like the outside, I never considered myself being a part of it. But then when I started to realize, wait, like am I bisexual? After about a year, I started to realize, oh, I really like girls. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, that's that. So I came to the realization that yes, I am bisexual. And I did get a lot of questions. What's your bi ratio? What's your bi ratio? Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, a bi ratio is basically how much you like girls compared to how much you like boys. Of course, you know, sexuality is fluid. It can change, um, but for me right now, 70% to 30% I guess 70% being girls of course um, and then the 30% being boys I just tend to be really picky about boys and then just not very picky about girls I love girls I just I really like women um, but I also like males so does this mean that I'm attracted to everyone I see no it doesn't say you have a straight female is she going to be attracted to every boy she sees no, she's not. Um, therefore, I am not attracted to every girl I see. I am not attracted to every boy I see. Same thing for a gay man. He is not attracted to every man that he sees. Who did I tell first? I kept it to myself all of ninth grade, all of 10th grade, and then the summer after 10th grade, I was best friends with Aaron. <laughs> Him and I were actually having lunch one day at Panera. And I was like, yeah, I'm bisexual. Gradually started to tell, you know, my closer friends. They all accepted me, which is amazing. And now it is public knowledge, so, which is perfectly fine. I love it. I didn't think that I would feel any different, but I kind of just, I feel free. Like, I feel like so free and like I'm, you know, not hiding something from the world. And yeah. I do have a message for all my closeted people out there. It doesn't matter if you're bisexual, gay, lesbian, trans, non-binary, etc. Whatever type member of the LGBTQ plus community you are, if you are closeted, babe, take your time. Your feelings are valid. Who you are is valid. Don't be ashamed because it's love and it's beautiful. Being who you are is beautiful. Embracing your true self is beautiful. So don't be ashamed. You are who you are and who you are is beautiful. So love is love regardless of gender, regardless of race, regardless of everything. Yeah, take your time and whenever you're ready, show the world who you are and own it, babe, because you're amazing. I also got asked, did I lose followers? Yes, I lost about 50 followers, um, which is really sad on their part that they can't support love, but that's their own issues. Me embracing who I am, I'm never gonna regret that. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I hope you have a great rest of your freaking day. Um, yeah, that's all. Peace out. Mwah. Oh, my titty's gonna fall out. I wanna fall out. Oh, I, I want to fit. Yeah. Okay.